I'm Melissa Chartrand, and I'm here with Jack Aline, who is a local resident from Katuit and fellow painter. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to have you here. And Jack, you are our featured artist whose works are featured on the walls in the Town Hall Hearing Room and the Selectmen's Conference Room through February. I've known you for several years. I met you through someone in Katuit, but you're not from the Cape originally. That's right. I was actually uh, born in Los Angeles. How did you, what brought you here to the Cape Cod, all well, the way from the other side? Well, I tell you what, I joined IBM uh, early on in my professional career and uh, ended up in New York City, uh, lived uh, with my family in Chappaqua, New York, and um, after retired, I moved up to the Cape and planned to stay here for quite a long time yet. And now your background is mathematics and science. That's right. And not really painting. Had you not painted before you came to the Cape? Well, I had. I, um, I was uh, a combat veteran from World War II. Thank you for your service. Uh, I had given up 38 months of my young life. And uh, when I got out, I was in a great hurry to finish college and graduate work. And um, as a result, I petitioned for full credits every term. I went every summer and filled up every hour. And one summer I had an empty hour and I found a course in, in watercolor of all things and I took it and um, enjoyed it. Uh, and subsequently, I have spent a lot of time visiting art galleries all over the world, all the way from Kyoto to Oslo <laughs> and everywhere in the United States and I love art. And uh, I painted intermittently uh, but when I moved to the Cape about 15 years ago, I, I met up with Herb Holden and I have painted with him uh, every Wednesday morning and, uh, uh, and I've spent more and more time painting and I actually love it. And what, when you say that and you love it, what, do you, what, what, what does it do for you? Well, first of all, it does two important things. I, I actually enjoy the, the, uh, the painting aspects, the physical aspects. Um, but more importantly, since I started painting, I find I am looking at the world around me with new eyes. I used to notice the tree was green, the sky was blue. Now I, I see shadows, I see cloud formations, I see reflections in the water. And uh, I think that's one important aspect of painting, this ability to just suddenly see the world around you and it adds a new dimension. Also, I found it, I'm by myself and I find it's a wonderful social outlet. I can hardly go to the market without running into one or two artists I know and uh, it's just been, been both a, um, a, a wonderful activity and secondly a social outlet for me. Absolutely and I know too Jack you're involved in the Katua Painters which is a group that meets we, we've done an interview with them as well for our viewers that, that might not be familiar it's a group of painters that meet each Wednesday I believe down in the Federated F Bruce Hall Yes. in the church down there in Katuit. Yes. And again, it's a group of, of retirees who some had never painted before, some have painted their whole lives. They get together and you work together and critique each other's work. Do you, do you find that, that you pick up? Are you inspired by other artists' work? Absolutely. I, uh, I now am taking three classes a week. Are you really? One on Wednesday, I'm studying with Karen Northwell's Thursday morning and I'm studying at the Cape Cod Art Association on Friday morning. And um, most of these involve critiquing all of the work done during the day. And I find I probably learn more by critiques of other people's work than on my own. Uh, again, it, it's a, uh, an opportunity to see things through other people's eyes as well as your own. And so uh, we deal with questions of color, composition, on and on. Do you have a favorite subject matter? Actually, uh, I, I paint pretty much everything. Uh, if, when you see the show upstairs, you'll notice there are people, there are boats, there are landscapes. Uh, 
buildings. Uh, so I just enjoy painting almost everything I see. And now here's a tough one. Do you have a favorite painting or fa if a favorite series of paintings um, of yours? Of mine. I, uh, I pick paintings for the show up there that I've had for a while. Uh, I'm a collector more than a painter, believe it or not. I, I hardly ever hang any of my own work because really? I, I have uh, paintings, Sam Barber and, and, uh, and uh, Paul Schulenberg and Ann Bauscher and the whole, you name them, I have paintings of, of theirs. Uh, so there's no room for my work. But uh, I think the, the show upstairs uh, is representative of some of the things I think I've done well. I do a lot of paintings that are just not very good. And says you, maybe says you well, that you don't think they it are. It just but doesn't happen. Do. Always, it's like you know. I guess being a baseball player, sometimes you hit a triple, <coughs> sometimes you strike out. <laughs> now, on your painting that you might paint and you're not you're not satisfied with it, will you go back and tweak it and redo it, or do you do you take one and you're done and that's it, you move on? I think a lot of painters paint several paintings at a time, and sometimes you reach a point where you doing more harm than good <laughs> in your <laughs> painting. And so I put those aside and, and look at it from time to time and maybe a month later I'll come back and pick it up and, and begin from uh, where I had left off. Uh, and that works well. It does. Yeah. So. Um, now you mentioned a painting upstairs, uh, School Days. School Days. Tell us a little bit about that painting. Well, I was asked to be in a show at the Cahoon Museum, and the subject was memories. And one of the most wonderful parts of my whole life was uh, attending school, both as a youngster and then in uh, college. Uh, uh, and uh, I found a, a picture of a, a young man lying on the grass at a university uh, with the uh, uh, windows in the background reading and it, uh, I, it came out well I uh, uh, put it in the show and uh, so that's upstairs uh, uh, with a whole bunch of others. Sure and, and some of the ones that you really do like the most that you brought to share yes. with us. Does any other ones stand out at this time? I just finished a painting of a sailboat uh, from the view of being on the boat looking over the bow and the uh, it's a large sailboat and it's uh, healing uh, to the side and uh, that came up very well so, and I have a wonderful frame I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think framing is awfully important. Yes. And schooling, as you say, Jack, you, you loved it as, a, as a, um, a youngster and as an adult, and I think you never start, stop learning now, in fact, as you say that you're taking these art classes. And well, I'm actually subscribed to the uh, great courses. Uh, and what is that? And get CDs okay. of various subjects, Civil War. Um, I just finished the... Uh, a set of, of lectures, they're college lectures, uh, a set of lectures on uh, the bestsellers in American history, all the way from the uh, very first up to the uh, contemporary uh, novelist, uh, Grisham, of course. And, um, and now I'm studying English history for the uh, Stuarts and Tudors. And, and I just, and, and and going to classes, I spend about a half hour driving, and each lecture is a half hour, so I find I can drive and and uh, and listen to a first-rate uh, professor. Oh, well, fabulous! <coughs> keeps your mind sharp. Keeps I you hope interesting. So. Absolutely, I hope so. absolutely. Now you have um, some children that come to visit you from time to time. I have four children, but they're all over the countryside. Uh, from Raleigh, North Carolina, to Portland, Maine. Two of my children live in New York City. Um, and uh, a couple of them are very active in the arts. Uh, my son is a Broadway actor. Uh, my daughter is a playwright. And uh, my other daughter is a cellist and, 
and my oldest son turned bad. He joined IBM. <laughs> 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 and the arts, though, Jack, it goes to show you how important the arts are. What do you think of the art scene here on the Cape? I know that you're quite active. I've seen you at many openings. What, would you, what do you think of it, and what would you, where would you like to see it be? I think the uh, art scene on the Cape is fabulous. There, there are um, painters who um, paint in, in very different styles, uh, abstract to impressionistic. I tend to be more impressionistic because uh, I enjoy it. Um, but there are so many artists. I, I was a board member at the Ar Cape Cod Art Association. They now have 1,100 members, and that's just a fraction of the painters on the Cape. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to see first-rate art without having to travel to Boston or New York or Chicago or whatever. And where can we see, speaking of the art scene, your work now? Now, of course, they can come to Town Hall through February, and I know that you participate in some shows at the Cahoon Museum, and you're a member of the Cape Cod Art Association. Is there anywhere online or elsewhere that they can take a look at your work? I am um, not into selling art. I do occasionally, but uh, I have a painting hanging now with the Cultural Center. Okay. And uh, I've just taken a painting down from a show at the Art Association. Fantastic. So that's where our viewers, if they're interested, um, around the different um, exhibits and collections, um, different shows, that we'll get to see some of your work. You know, um, I think that uh, people on the Cape ought to avail themselves of the art. And there are so many places to see first-rate art. And let me just make one last point. One of the things I run into frequently are people who see art and say, gee, I, I would love to paint, but I can't paint a straight line. And I know so many people who have uh, started painting and who have, first of all, jo enjoyed it, but secondly, many of them have become first-rate painters. Absolutely. And the only one stopping them is themselves yes. from not taking and that I first just, stroke. Uh, you have to choose a medium to get started, and, and I think it's uh, great to take classes, and there are so many first-rate classes around, all the way from Falmouth to Provincetown. So um, if anyone ever sees this, I suggest that they uh, uh, get a tube of paint and a brush and a canvas and go to work. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, Jack, thank you so much well, thank for joining us. Uh, for our viewers, Jacqueline, a local resident and artist, you'll see his works out. And wishing you all an artful day. I'm Melissa Chartrand.